Ah, uh, the Los Angeles Rams, led by head coach Sean McNugget. Doesn't he seem like the kind of guy who goes out of his way to give you a pound hello when he enters the room? Like, relax, bro. No one likes that guy. <laughs> nah, jokes aside, I actually admire Sean McVay as a coach. It's crazy because he's gotten so much credit for the Rams' success this year. I still don't think he's gotten enough. If you really take a look at the Rams' offense, it's not nearly as talented as you would think. Todd Gurley's obviously tremendously talented, but Brandon Cooks, Robert Woods, Josh Reynolds, and Tyler Higby? I mean, this isn't exactly receiving core that jumps off the page at you. Who the hell is Tyler Higby? Jared Goff's a good quarterback, but I mean, I wouldn't put him on the elite level or, or in the top five discussions. I'm sure some would, but I wouldn't. Most of the credit belongs to Todd McVay. I mean, C.J. Anderson rushed for 123 yards and two touchdowns in the playoffs against a top rush defense in Dallas. C.J. Anderson, really? I look better shirtless than C.J. Anderson. I mean, he's actually obese. Sean McVay is just some sort of warlock or an evil sorcerer. That offense is just unstoppable when it's working. It's perfectly crafted around the Rams' skill set, and the play calling has been phenomenal. But can we take a look at the defense for a second? Everything I just said about Sean McVay and the Rams' offense say the exact opposite for Wade Phillips and the defense. On paper, this defense looks like it should be the best defense ever assembled. It looks like a defense I'd put together in my Madden franchise when I turn auto trades on with all the computer teams. But they've kind of underperformed this season. Other teams have not struggled to put up points against the Rams. They're 20th in the league in points against. With that stacked roster, that's kind of disappointing. But I did see a cool stat about the Rams defense that I'd like to share with you. Here are the passing stats this season against the Rams when both Aqib Tlaib and Marcus Peters are both on the field. Now let's take a look at those numbers when either one of Aqib Tlaib or Marcus Peters is off the field. I saw that on ESPN. I thought that was pretty interesting. Seems like having these two cornerbacks healthy and on the field is crucial to the Rams defense. Thanks for watching. Please click the subscribe button on the left side of the screen. And on the right side of the screen, be sure to check out another video.